What is up guys, it is Nick, we are back, and I thought you guys probably assumed we would take a little bit longer in between Sork episodes, but no. I want to get this character progressed to a usable state, even if it just becomes the only character I play on, that's also fine, I don't care, but Sork is still my favorite, nothing else competes with it at all, so, um, yeah, so, can this camera zoom out and stay out, thank you. Um, so that's, that's essentially where we are right now. We are here at, uh, I'll show you where we are after I kill these guys. So I'm not exactly well equipped to fight these guys, but I'm well equipped enough that it's not too big of a deal. So we are here on the map at the Kadri Ruins, or Kadri Ruins, just a little bit north of Altanova. Never really done anything on this side of the map up here, other than we did go up here a little bit. I did go down over here to uh, Crescent Shrine, and we did some over here. But um, I want to go to Warrigan um, Nest at some point, but I don't think I'm barely well equipped enough to do this right here at Kadri. Uh, ruins so yeah that's a little bit away did upgrade the gear finally so we did finally get begs gloves and i decided to just go out and get tet beg gloves instead of uh try so yes we do have tet and so these this is probably part of the lineup of stuff i'll be using for a long time now the next thing is probably either to upgrade the agarian armor set to Probably, probably just Tet, but if we go to... See, I, I want to get the other better stuff, but like for 620 million to get um, um, Pen, Agarian set, and then make it ultimate, so it's like 79 extra defense. Same with the armor. I mean, like, Red Nose is obviously the goal, and but that's 4 billion gold for this and it's it would be it would be uh a 10 upgrade over what i could get with all the agarian at pen because i think that was 79 or would that have been 79 i don't know it, it's either a 10 or a 5 increase off of that um and obviously it's the better item but it's just like the where is the agarian the agarian is just a whole heck of a lot cheaper and it, it gets the job done. It would be five better than the Agarian. And so for the price, we're kind of in a scenario where that's just how it's going to have to be for now. There are no pens up, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, but the main focus I want to focus on is weapons and accessories. The weapons, I want to get... I'm going to splurge and I'm going to get Tet of these whenever they pop up. Uh, I want to get Tet Nova and Tet um, of the Dandelion Scythe. But there's never any dandelion size or anything like that up, so it's going to be a little bit of a wait. I don't know if you can ultimate those. I don't think you can. Um, it's the base stuff. So those will be their actual attacks. But let's get into leveling up to level 60. Um, I have been doing a lot of the combat scroll stuff, and I'm going to continue to do that towards 61. Uh, it's just what I'm going to do to leave my console on at night just to get uh, what experience I can for free. I don't know why she got like stuck in an animation with her scythe up. I still mostly use the scythe, uh, kind of just the habit of the way things are and how I do it, but the more I get to play my Sork, the more I'll get more into not just scythe stuff. I do need to start using these more. I don't actually remember to use them enough, and kind of my fault. But, yeah, I need to remember to use those more. Can I get unstunned? Thank you. Okay. Stop stunning me. I literally just farmed these guys for like 10 minutes and didn't ever get stunned once. Because I wanted to test to make sure I could actually kill these things. And I could, so yeah, I, I decided to stay here. I was going to go like... Uh, just a machine space if this didn't work out. But I want to go to some of the places that I never go to because I, for more, like, diversity for myself, 
on top of more diversity for you guys, because for a while there, I did like seven videos at Machines because it just worked for me. But I don't want to make like regular, I don't want to make like regular grind spots like in every video thing. So trying to mix it up, trying to do a little bit different here and there. But I'm happy to get to level 60 today. Uh, should take us just a little bit of time, not too much, but uh, will probably take us a couple minutes because I think every every enemy I kill is worth like 10 or er, 0.002 experience, uh, and we need to get 500 in in like we got to kill like what is that? I don't even know what the math is on that. You got 250 enemies, I think, is what I have to kill to finish this today. I gotta remember to use that to get back more health. Um, my my defense is fine. It's probably pretty good defense for level 60 if we are talking in a macro sense, but overall, probably could have better defense. That final kill. I'm gonna head to the outside here, kite a little bit of enemies up. Those guys kite over here. Why is the you guys are so slow? Get over here. Use my Carson's nightmare, my favorite attack. I don't even think it's that good DPS wise. Every time I watch it, I'm kind of like I think another attack actually is better than this, but I like it so I use it. Like I like I've always said, the uh, my Sork build is probably not even remotely close to optimal, but I enjoy the kind of rotations that I've built for myself. It's not super, like, sweaty, and it's not, like, super optimized. It just is easy to do, and it's an actual rotation so that's spamming certain buttons. So, yeah, that's why, I, that's why I do what I do with it. The thing that I need to remember to incorporate more is this attack, the Grim Reaper's Judgment. I don't quite do that as much as I should, so I definitely need to uh, mess around with that. Also, when we hit level 60... I can get this up quick skills I do have another 109 skill points so we'll take a look at grabbing like one or two more skills for the character um, there's a couple of different things like that I use that are level ones I probably really should um, tinker around with getting rid of some of the skills that I never use for more skill points because I think a lot of the stuff that I use sh should and could be a lot better it just isn't because I don't have it optimized. Oh, I still have a minute on my shield. I've been trying to remember to activate my shield again because a lot of the times after the four minutes, it's like another two minutes before I even realize that the shield's not active anymore. So I definitely have to, uh, it's, it's something I've been working on a little bit more here. Okay, went for dodge back, there we go. That's also one of my favorite attacks, that like jump slam. I don't use it a whole lot because I spend a lot of my time on this part of the sword, on the scythe part, but I have, like when you do this spell, it takes you back to that so it's easier to do it, uh, and that's just, that's just one of those attacks that I have to get used to. When I took my break, it, swiping up and down on these things just isn't really in my memory to do, so that's why I kind of forget about it most of the time. And I also have to remember to do my uh, Shards of Darkness. I always forget to do my Shards of Darkness. I don't really, for areas like this where it's a little bit tougher enemies and death is kind of a concern. I, I don't think I'm going to die, but it becomes a slight concern. I just don't really want to... I don't want to be trading health off because I do get hit, so I am healing. I do only have 33 heals left, so hopefully we can manage to get this. That, that, some health back. Yeah, so it's just key that I remember. That's kind of the things that I'm working on the most right now, is making sure I remember that I have those skills and that I need to do them. Like putting back the shield on. Just dodge out of there, put the shield back on. I just have to get, just gotta get used to the rotation here. It's kinda, 
don't know. I, I didn't play on the Zork for so long because I didn't want to... The, the auto the auto leveling that they have that helped me get to 60 here, that has been great because it kind of reinvigorates me wanting to play Zork. It was, it's kind of hard for me to, like, I don't know, want to sit here and grind out the same levels. Like, beyond, like, it, like spend, like, five hours of grinding on a character just to have it only equate in, like, 10 levels, because that's what, or not even 10, 10 levels, 10% 10 is what I meant. Yeah, that's hard for me. Like, it just doesn't feel like I'm making progress. It's not even like an instant gratification thing. It's like, man, this doesn't even feel like I made any progress today. So that's kind of, kind of where I'm at. Or where I was at. Now I'm a little bit more reinvigorated and I'm more ready to go and level up the character. I think, like, 62, if I could get it to 62, I would just be happy with that level and I wouldn't care about when I would level up again. But, as it stands right now, we're not level 62, so that's not even remotely a concern. But that's kind of where I am right now. Let's go into this. Go into the Karshan Nightmare. I don't really know... Some of the times I like to get, like, too many enemies grouped up and then I just never use Karshan Nightmare, so I just need to start using it more about halfway there from where we started. But yeah, I just gotta start using Karsha Nightmare on groups of enemies, even if it's not... Even if it's not, like, totally using the full effect of it, I still think I need to use it. Oh yeah, this is the Violent. I did kill a Violent earlier. It's a little bit of a... It's a little bit of a chore. I really just have to stand here and fight everything else, and then eventually the Violent will die. Okay, knocking me down, buddy. Okay, get up. Gotta get, gotta use this. Get some. Oh, I, I wasted it. Didn't get that off. That's kind of shitty. Focus down. Let me dodge out. Thank you. There you go. This is a great time. I like using it on the bigger enemies because it's a continuous burst of damage, and they usually can't knock you. There are some boss enemies. Like, I think, um, one of the boss scrolled enemies, they knocked me out of it. But other than that, it's really not a regular thing for me to get knocked out of that. As I'm frozen, please move you. There we go. Taking some heavy damage now. I'm hoping that I can get this finished before I run out of heals. I do not want to run out of heals and then be dying over and over and have to use my Elian's Tears. That's not what I want to have to do. I should have honestly thought about it before I came here, because I don't... I, did, I didn't have a lot when I came here. I think I had like 60 or something like that, so did not have a lot. Get this off. Thank you. That's the one thing that I like, is the transition that you can get out of those. You can transition into the one, and then you can transition quickly into the second one, and it doesn't have to do the switched weapon animation, so it's a little bit quicker. Uh, and then you can go straight into the one attack that I want to do with my amulet. Because there's really only one attack with the amulet that I want to do, and so if I can get it... Ooh, that was probably... That was a really bad decision, but it's not going to end up killing me, which is good. Six seconds left on the one that'll give me health. Get up, back up. Spin through, get behind. Should be enough enemies here. It should give me a decent amount of health. Go. Spin through. See, you can see how long it takes to kill the violent. You t I take a ton of damage because the violent is just hitting me the whole time. But. And the reward that I got from the last Violent was really garbage, so I'm not even sure it's worth trying to kill the Violent. But we are going to kill the Violent, because at this point, I put in a ton of damage. That, here. Dodge out. Alright, keeping it, trying to keep an eye on my health up there so that we don't get into any dire straits, but the, here we go. Get some nice damage with that off. Spin the win into it. Ah, there we go. There's the violent now. Nice. 
So you can see I didn't get like anything good. I got a couple of black stone weapons. And I mean like it's fine. Don't not gonna complain about getting those, but it's not like some crazy loot reward. Oh look, there's someone else here. Who can probably clearly smoke my shit. So can we finish this up quickly before that person murders my soul? Be much appreciated. What do we need? We need like six we need like eight more kills. Why is it not switching? I just don't want to get murdered by this person. Just let me finish this. And then we'll, go. we'll be on our way, buddy. There's a whole, like, other area to this I know that I have not gone to. Ah, there we go. Level 60. Let's go. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, so we're going to finish up this dude. I'll one-shot you, get you out of here. Okay. So now, let's try to get out of here. Um... I think it's this way. I, I think it's this way. I don't actually know. One way takes you deeper. One way, uh, one way takes you out. Um, nope, it's this way. It's this way. It's this way. I oh my gosh, I, I don't actually know. We're going this way. I'm guessing it's this way. Hopefully, hopefully I guess correctly. Get me up the stairs. This is the wrong way. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the wrong way. Definitely the wrong way. Wait, 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 wait. No, maybe this is the right way. Yeah, this is the right way. This is the person's horse. Yeah! Woo! Figure... <laughs> Guess correctly. It is... Wow, it is really dark here. Hold on, let me go back up here. Wow, that's really dark for some... Oh, it just didn't load the color. Okay, I was gonna say, that is like... It's like painfully dark. Okay, so here we are. We'll sit up on this rock here. And take a peek at the skills. So we got 109. And I should probably try to get... So Reaper's Judgment level 2. You can see like skill points required is 19. Carson's Nightmare level 3 is 46. Uh, Flow, Cry of Darkness. Is this out of... I don't know. I don't... LTA. Do I... I don't... Hold on. Do I use the skill at all? I don't think I have. What does it flow after? Um, does it tell me what it f flows after Karshan's Night? No, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Flows at preceding Blade of Darkness 1. So. 30 skill points is a lot, but I do use this skill a fair amount. So it's L. I'm going to grab it. So. Eh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. So you do this, and then. Oh, okay. Okay, I kind of like that. Hold on, let me let it cool down, and then I'm going to try it again. I think that's a pretty decent skill. I'm interested. I mean, I'm intrigued. Okay, so... Why won't it let me do it? Hello? Let me do my skill? Why is it not... Why is it not letting me do my skill? Like, I'm hitting LT, R, T, and it's not doing my skill. Um, hello? What is happening to my character? Can, can I please do my, okay, whatever. Whatever, I don't know why it's not letting me do my skill. I'm literally doing the skill correctly, and I don't know what it's doing. But, but I do like that skill. I think that's pretty decent. Uh, turn backslash, I don't use this as much anymore, but I do use it. Requiem, attack under nightmare, and then B. Don't actually. Eh. What is attack? Hold on. What is attack under nightmare? Is that back B? I don't even see the skill. I, back B is not even here. The skill, night. Okay, so not, it's called Nightmare. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to learnable skills. I should probably get this. Flow the Revive Nightmare. It's expensive, but I'm going to pick it up. And then I think I'm going to pick up Karshan's Nightmare 3. Just simply, I know it's probably not the best thing. I should probably pick this up because I use it the most. But... I'm kind of a, I'm a sucker for Carson's Nightmare 3, so that's what we're picking up. Um, and then we'll mess with, I need to get more skill points, 
or just reset and rebuild the character out. But I don't really want to reset my skills and rebuild them out, so at this point, I mean, we could, we could deactivate it. Um, there's, there's, there's some routes, there's some skills I definitely unlocked on this that I don't need, that I never am going to use, especially with the amulet. I really only use like three skills with the amulet. Uh, and so I should probably tinker with those. Like, I use my regular attack, I use the Sinister Energy, and I use Shadow Eruption to Ultimate Shadow Eruption. That's all I use on it. And really, the Sinister Energy is not important. I just kind of have it throw a couple out, so they're really not important. I should use Darkness Released, but I have that, like, level 3, and, like, that's pointless because I don't use it. So I probably need to do a skill reset, to be honest, and mess with all of that. I just haven't, um, because there's lots of skills that I don't use. I don't use Dream of Doom very often. I use it from time to time, but I don't really use it. Um, Midnight Stinger, I really don't use. Mark of Shadow, I really don't use. Um, it's really just a regular RB, RT, and um, the the Ultimate Eruption. That's about all I use. Now, they're like Bloody Contract, I don't use that. There's just a lot of stuff that I don't use. Abyssal Flame. Shield of Darkness I do use. And I do like that Shield of Darkness I can LT, LB to use. I just have it slotted here because if I have my shield out, or if I have my scythe out, it's much easier just to up over swipe um, than it is to switch back to my amulet, hit LT, LB, and then switch back. It's just easier to do that. Same with Dark Trade. I think there's a button combo for Dark Trade. I just don't use it. Uh, but, yeah, you can see, like, Midnight Stinger's level 2, Mark of Shadow's only level 1, Abyssal Flame's only level 1, but there are, I mean, I want Shadow Eruption, but, like, Dream of Doom, that's level 3. So there's just plenty of things that I could undo that, uh, are just not great skills that I don't, or, they're, well, they're probably great skills, I just don't use them, so there's no point of having them ranked up kind of thing, but... I'm going to be done talking, babbling on here, but uh, I felt like that was kind of some stuff I should discuss. But yeah, I should probably reset my skills and go over that. So maybe in the next Sork episode, we'll do that. I have no idea what we're going to do in the next Sork episode. Maybe we'll try Cam Sylvia again because we're level 60 now. So maybe we'll give that a go. I'm not sure. I don't feel like I've upgraded my gear all that much since the last time I tried Kama, but maybe level 60 will help us accomplish that. I don't really know, but... Uh... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.